Hi, this is Denise, Elector Community Manager. Hello, I'm Arthur from Elector. Hello, I'm Ratchet from Elector. Hi, welcome. This is uh, Clemens at uh, Embedded World uh, 2020. We are at Embedded World 2020 in Nuremberg. Let's take a look inside. So this is uh, Clemens at Embedded World uh, 2020. Here we are standing in front of the Schurter booth and next to me is standing Mr. Roland Maurer. He's a product manager and um, well, Mr. Maurer, can you tell us something about uh, what you have on, uh, on the booth? Welcome to our booth. So I want to show you the, the newest innovation about input systems. Uh, this is a resistive multi-touch screen because a lot of applications you can't use PCAP because physically the PCAP is uh, not usable like you have a high EMC field or a lot of water. So for medical application it's a must. For some kind of medical application it's a must to make it resistive, but you, for new applications you need to have a multi-touch screen. Therefore we developed a resistive multi-touch screen. It's also usable for military applications. You can shield it with a metal mesh. So it's really perfect. Okay. Looks nice. Don't want to miss multi-touch. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can also make a GFG out of it, that means a glass cover over it with UV uh, cut material, so you can use it for outdoor applications. This is an a indoor communication system, it's a pretty easy uh, electronic design. That means the sensor of the switches is on a PCB board. We make a, a blade between which makes the light, so you can use very easy PCAP switches behind a glass overlay, plastic, you can integrate it in the wall. So it's a special design for one customer. Yeah. Looks nice, I must say. It looks nice, it's really perfect and easy to, easy to activate. Okay. okay. Nice. This is an example for avionic and space. It's an in-flight entertainment system. It's also PCAP behind a chemical strength the glass that it will not break. At the, the speciality of this uh, application is we make a sensor which is larger than the display and it can use around the active area of the display and use the sensor film to make uh, additional PCAP uh, switches in it. That yeah, so it's, it, it's important to know that you do not make the, you do not design the whole system but you make the sensors that allow it to be controlled by the user. Uh, it can be used, of course, yeah. And you can program by yourself or by the customer. You can define how big is my, my zone you want to use. You can, for example, you can make a switch which the complete area. So for on off, it's pretty easy. Okay. So one controller, two different uh, outputs. One is the multi-touch and one is like a key, keyboard, a real keyboard signal to the system. Okay, nice. And normally in-flight systems, uh, they often have problems. Uh, I hope this one is better. This one is pretty perfect good, yeah. of course. <laughs> In the beginning it was resistive, now also changed to PCAP. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So we, for example, this, this is a typical uh, PCAP panel for backside integration in a, in a housing, in a metal housing. And you see here the difference between optical bonding and not optical bonding. So the readability is perfect good. If it is bonded, you have a better usability also according to high uh, humidity and so on. And the roughness is... Uh, really much better. Very strong. Uh, strong yeah. okay. This is a, how to say, a standard module. It's an IPC, ready integrated, made in Taiwan. So just if you have not special uh, requirements, you can use such an easy IPC system with defined interfaces here, also here with switches in it. This is the, as I know, worldwide first PCAP for locomotive control because locomotive has a very high requirement for EMC because the energy in the locomotive, the disturbance is really high. So you have to test maybe around 100 volt per meter. Okay. And it's the CL2 norm standard we have to fulfill. And with this PK panel, we fulfill this norm. It's also chemical strength of glass, 3 mm thick. So a high IK08 level and anti glare surface optical bonded display, so perfect. And finally, really, you see a rocket housing closed, yeah. fanless. And then you play Tetris on it, I see. It's just for the customers. A very good example we make for, for a special customer in Germany for the e-car production. 
It's a 24-inch PCAP sensor, film-based in this case, behind the printed glass. By the way, the glass printing is in our factory in Ending and in Germany. Okay. We have a fully automated uh, production line where the touch don't need to be touched, the glass during the production. The specialty here is we have a logo design which is uh, illuminatable. That means you can see the status of the machine and each worker sees from, from far distance the, the status of the application. And so we deli delivered around 1,000 panels which are standing now on each working place in the car production. Okay. It looks nice. Pretty nice, yeah. yeah. Also special in this case that uh, you this can control each touch, pa touch panel from one office. This is the biggest size you can do or you can do even bigger? No, uh, the biggest is at the end. <laughs> okay. This is a 32-inch uh, PCAP based on glass. Glass has the big advantage, it's a very high light transmission and the less haze rate, that means the, the picture in the screen is really reality what you see. It's not uh, influenced by the sensor, not influenced by the material between, mm -hmm. so therefore perfect for medical applications as well. You can see the real uh, picture in the display and this is just for, for play. Roulette. You see, we can also integrate uh, the status LED yeah, yeah. in rows. So you won. I won. <laughs> well, actually, you won. Okay. <laughs> this we can also make optical bonding in this size. So 32 is in our view currently the maximum size for industrial and medical applications. Very impressive. So here we are at the medical division. The 21.5 display, optical bonded with the cover lens. Branded with white color because for medical application and this is, we say, open f open frame design that you can integrate it by yourself or in the, in the oh, okay. ready unit or in a big housing you can integrate it by yourself. There's a, a rubber ceiling around so you de define the cutout of the application and you integrate the ready touch panel with display, by the way, into the system. Okay, here we are standing with uh, Mr. Ubaldo Tarantino. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you are going to tell us something about the embedded systems from Schurter. Yes, correct. Uh, we can show you something. We are uh, based in Italy. Okay. We are the um, system division for uh, Schurter. Uh, what we are currently promoting and uh, manufacturing is, uh, are these kind of solutions where we can have uh, embedded board like this one. We design uh, the system on module with the operating system on it, Linux and Android base, typically. And we can design the carrier board, the board designed for the customer with all the interfaces that the customer needs, like uh, USB, uh, HDMI interface, uh, CAN bus, and so on. We can take the design of the customer or we can help the customer design by co-designing the board itself and provide a complete solution even with certification and tests. Medical application, industrial application, automotive application, we can do without any problem. Uh, what we are doing is even integration with uh, products of other products of shooters like uh, capacitive touch panel, uh, the possibility to have HMI solutions with a complete system, again, like this one, uh, integrated into a mechanics solution with display, full HD display, capacitive touch panel, and a complete range of product. The solutions can be uh, customized, of course, uh, with different kind of displays, uh, uh, resistive technology, capacitive technology, full HD displays, uh, and uh, even about the requirement about the system memory or anything the customer needs about interfaces, we can, uh, we can do according to customer requirements. So now Shurter not only makes parts, but uh, complete systems, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the, the real uh, uh, goal for, uh, for the company, from the Swiss border, to be a competence and uh, added value uh, company. So to provide not only components, because in Italy we had the philosophy to provide components, originally, from our background history. But uh, in the past two years, we are going more and more to be a solution provider, to start to provide a complete system, give added value, become more partner 
with the, comp with the customers, not only as suppliers. Okay, very good. Well, uh, Ubaldo, thank you very much. Thanks for and I wish you a nice show. And uh, see you next year, maybe. For sure. Thanks a lot. And uh, thanks to your readers, too. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this.